everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve perfect looking brows. Doesn't matter how sparse, how fair, you know, whatever your brows are like, they cannot be sparse or fairer than mine. And in a minute you'll see the start tutorial of what my brows are actually like and they look nothing like this. I now have a giveaway, which is a £50 Amazon voucher. I'm very happy to be able to give this away. And I'd love one of these to win it. You could, you know, buy beauty products. They sell loads of things these days on Amazon. So all you have to do to enter is put a comment below telling me, out of all the videos I've done on my channel, you take a look which video is your favourite. And then I can see the majority of what you like most those will be the sort of videos that I do a lot more often. So let me know the video. And also just please be a subscriber of this channel. Um, these are my Instagram and Twitter links. These are optional for the giveaway. You don't have to follow them, but I would appreciate um, you know, if you did take a follow because that way it's the best way to sort of keep up with my life and what I'm doing. So it's at Lucy Taylor 18 for Instagram and then at underscore Lucy Taylor for Twitter. So again, all you've got to do to enter the video is put a comment telling me your favourite video that I've done and just be a subscriber. And this giveaway will close in one week's time, so I'm posting this today on Sunday, and it will close next Sunday, and I will announce the winner. My brows really are a transformation every day. They're sort of the one piece of makeup that I don't really ever like to go about. I think as I've got old, I've got more you know, comfortable and confident going out into public without brow makeup on. But now, you know, if I'm just running to the shops, I really wouldn't care. But if I do want to make a bit more an effort, this is the one most important thing of my entire face because I just think they frame your face, you know, they frame the eyes, everything's just going to look better. And in a minute, at the start of the tutorial, you'll see I've got a full face of makeup except brows, and it just doesn't look quite done. There's something clearly missing. Um, I think brows nowadays are something that every girl does. You know, years ago, I think. If you did your brows, everyone would be like, oh, they look a bit drawn on. But you know, but then they sort of took over a bit more. You know, on things like Towie or um, you know, the reality shows like wearing bold brows. You know, HD brows become you know more well known. The treatment that you get done in the salon um, and you know, scales brows. That was a big thing for a while. Now people even getting tattooed brows. Such a big thing. But also the most common mistake I find. I mention a bit more later on is that people start to fill in their brows when they get product. I use a powder, it's my favourite thing, and um, I'll show you in a minute what I use. But people get loads of product on their brush and they start right here from the inner corner filling in, and then this is the darkest bit of the brow, that's the powder bit of the brow. I think the real trick, if you want to look as natural as possible, is that the most product should be here at the end and the very least should be in the inner corner. That way, it just there's no stop and starts. This bit here is nice and defined. This bit, you can't really tell, it's very gradual. So that is my top, top, top tip. Always do never start from filling the brows in from the middle. Now I've tried many things on my eyebrows, but my product that I absolutely love is High Brows. Now I bought this when I used to work as beauty therapist in a salon, um, and now you can find them in salons, or you can find them in beauty trade shops, and um, probably online as well. I've never looked because this one has kept me going for, mm, year and a half at least now but it's finally starting to run out you can see in here um these are the products as you see you can't even see this brown anymore because it's so hit pan seriously need to find another one but just shows how much i love it and i've used it every single day this formula is amazing and um, as i say i'm more comfortable now going on holidays and or out for the day with no brows so now i'll go to the pool quite happily no makeup on but when i used to feel a bit self-conscious i would put this on and they'd be out all day in the sun, you're know, getting in the water. I mean, I don't really like swim underwater, but you know, in the heat and putting suntan lotion on around them, um, you know, and it just lasts. And I even did a trick one day, just splashed loads of water makeup and they did not budge. So, high brows, I definitely recommend. I have got the shade um, dark brown and it matches my hair really well. So, keep watching if you like to see the tutorial and um, hope you find it helpful. Okay, so the first thing you'd want to do is get a full brush of product and you're going to start from placing the eyeshadow in a line tracing it along the bottom of the brow but you don't want to start right from the inner corner you want to go in just a little bit more of in the way the reason I like to start from the bottom is because if you fill in I think from the top that looks less natural because brows most naturally are for I feel the bottom rather than the top. So by filling in this long line, it's just going to get your shape. 
Try extending them out a little bit. And it'll give you more of like a feline cat eye. And we're going to do the same one to the other eye, so we can be even as we go along. I'm just starting in probably about half a centimetre. And I'm just tracing along the bottom line of the brow. So however your brows go naturally, you just want to take them just along there. It's more the top half of the brow that you're sort of creating. I don't know if you can see with my brows, they're very, very sparse, but on the bottom, I did have something to trace along. And again, I've just extended this one out a little bit more to give a bit of more of a feline eye. So now I'm going to take some more product onto the brush and you're going to start filling in the outer part of the brow. Just doing a little light feathery stroke, just tap in to fill in that. The difference here is you're not going to take any more product now. You're going to use whatever is left on the brush to fill in here. You can also pull product up that you've you know, sort of placed along here. You can use any of that. So I'm sort of going from the bottom of the brow, working up. Moving along a little bit from the bottom of the brow, working up. And again, just every now and then, just making sure it all flows along nicely. And then still just with whatever is left now, because this is the bit. I think where there's the most common mistake. People start when they fill their eyebrows in from the inner corner out and it just doesn't look natural, it does look drawn on but by using whatever's left it's going to make it look natural because that bit here is actually quite sparse anyway. So just taking whatever's left, brushing along and all this time I've been using the brush on its side because now I'm going to take it long ways like this and I'm just going to add in a little bit here which is going to have hardly no product on. See that there? But it just looks really natural and blended. So now I'm going to do the same on the upper eye. So again, you get some more product and you fill in the outer corner of this brow. Start to work your way along without taking any more product. And you just blend in from the bottom of the brow, working up, bottom working up. Make sure it all joins along, and then here, whatever is left on your brush, that's fit in. Now, when you look at them, see if there's anywhere that you think should feel a little bit more. Brows are never going to be completely identical. It's like the quote here at the time, but brows are like sisters, not twins. And they're never going to look exactly the same. Then you might want to just, perhaps, take them a little bit higher up, just use whatever's left on the brush. Just a little bit more because it looks a little bit more natural when you're using no product but you're just filling them in. Just sort of no product here but you're just going slightly above where you've drawn on. Okay, so that was the brow tutorial for you. Um, if you're looking you know, a little bit stuck on where to stop and start your brows, a good trick is if you take a pencil or something and you line it up with the corner of the nose straight up, that's where the brow here should start. And if you line a pencil from the corner of your nose, and take it to the corner of your eye, straight, that's where your brush should end. And then if you take a pencil for the third time from the corner of your nose, through the pupil, when you're looking straight, that is where your brush should arch. So if you're ever stuck, follow that easy, simple tip. I would recommend if you wanted to get, you know, if you've got quite bold thick brows and you want to get them to good shape, always go to a good brow you know, a specialist beauty therapist that you've heard good recommendations of other people. Not someone that's going to strip them, make them so thin, because I just don't think that's very flattering. Um, and the majority of people, some people, it looks really nice, but I would always go to a professional because you just don't want that over pluck and ruin because they might not grow back very well. So always see the professionals for brows. So again, all you've got to do into the video is put a comment telling me your favourite video that I've done and just be a subscriber. So I'll see you in the next one and have a nice weekend. Bye.